tighter mask and uh, uh, with just as much strength. So now I don't know if you've ever done this, but you know it took me a while until I read the instructions to uh, figure out how to take this headpiece apart. And what you do is you, you, you put it all the way out and then you take a, another turn past it and look at that. It, uh, it threads out of there and it totally comes out. This piece comes out. So you'll see, you see this in, uh, in the video that I just made uh, about the cell technology and uh, you know, I had to disassemble this part just to give people a better view when I was working with my hands. So in addition, when I said it, it reminds me a lot of the Quattro. Now the other Activa also has this and I'm going to go ahead and take this part off is if you remember how the quattro goes together how this little piece of plastic slips into a ridge here that's exactly what this mask does as well and uh, you know, this is a good secure method uh, the easy life that I'm using now on a, on a demo and you're gonna see a reveal on it pretty quickly um, you know, <laughs> I've got to have it back in a uh, yeah, later this week so so pretty quickly um, that, you know, quite frankly, I'm not impressed with the way the mask ma uh, mates to the uh, seal. Uh, but, hey, we'll get to that. We'll show you that video. And this cell technology is really interesting stuff. This, this is probably, what I would say, the core of the mask. You know, I'd say, said before that, you know, your seal, uh, both against, you know, the headrest and, uh, and against your, your nasal area for a nasal mask and, a, and your face area and a full face mask, you know, this is the business end of the unit right here. This is what's touching your skin. And uh, you know, for sure you want to have uh, quality on this end. But this, I'm going to go through it piece by piece. So here's the outer inflation area. Now, I mean, this whole area inflates and opens up as I've, as I've showed, showed you in the other video. Uh, but here, when you pull this back, there's this, there's another area of stiffer stiffer material under here that gives this support and then this this thinner and lighter material that's what actually makes a seal and this area also inflates as well as you know so it's inflating this way it's also inflating here so one of my few complaints about this mask is you know right now I'm uh, in both my M series, uh, my ResMed uh, Restronics M series, and uh, and also now I'm, I'm I just got a brand new System One machine. You'll be getting a review on that as well. Um, the, you know, the brand new System One machine has the new technology where it senses um, where it senses what the ambient temperature and ambient humidity in the room is, so that it doesn't rain out your tubing. Well, that works all the way up until you get to this part of the mask. And more specifically, this, this little ring here. And this is one of the things I'm going to tell you about this. So that if you struggle with water in your mask, if, um, if that's an area that's really uncomfortable for you, you know, this, and, and you like to turn up the humidity. Now, if you don't like to turn up the humidity or you keep your bedroom warm and you haven't had any trouble with rain out ever, um, this isn't going to be important to you. But even with the new System 1 technology of sensing the room air, and it's also, that also is uh, present on the, uh, the ResMed S8s, and uh, I believe their new S9 most likely has it. I can't see them getting rid of it for that. But if you look at this area where it inflates and where, where its uh, active cell technology is, the problem with this area is up here on this upper part, the area that's closer to your face, where my index finger is, you know, there's two layers. And this, where, it's, where it has the writing here, uh, that's a thick piece of material. And it tapers down right till you get to here. Now, I know why they did it. I mean, they did it so that you could get that accordion-type motion and get the full benefit from, from the Activa and from, from the active cell. Now the problem with the active cell is, is that the area where they did, they th really thinned out this material. And so what happens with me is, is that you know, I use a, a, uh, a hose cover so that I'm not raining out at night. I do like to keep my bedroom cold. You know, I usually my, uh, especially with the new mask and the new machine, you know, I'm keeping my humidity always above three, from three to five. But 
when it comes to this mask, when it hits this area, it cools off rapidly. And what I've found with this mask is, is that down, you know, it'll be at the bottom, you know, because, or, you know, it'll roll around at night because I am an active sleeper. That's why I've, I decided to try this. Um, and what happens is this humidity collects in here. Uh, it rains out. And I've gotten up to a tablespoon of water in this area. Now, the good thing about the design is, is that, you know, when I'm sleeping, actually, I don't have a problem with it. Now, my FlexFit 4.7, I didn't mention this in the review, but when it would rain out and I would really, you know, turn up the humidity and, it, and the condensation would get into the, into the, uh, into the mask, um, that sucker all night long would drip back into my nose. And, you know, I mean, that's one of the things that wakes you up like that. But with this, you know, one of the nicer things is, is that, hey, yeah, I do get condensation in here, but it collects in here and it doesn't disturb me while I'm sleeping. Now, I said while I'm sleeping. Because what happens is, is I go and I take this mask off. If you think about how you, how you do it, I take it off, and as soon as I take it off, you know, I don't know whether this thing inflates more, you know, or me pulling it off or what, but that stuff dumps right out and hits me in the face. Uh, you know, if I'm going to the restroom at night, if I'm, when I wake up in the morning, uh, you know, hey, you're, you aren't the most lucid person in the world when you're getting up there, and then to have a, a tablespoon of water come flying out of this thing, um, that's pretty alarming. Now, with that aside, this is still the favorite mask that I own. Um, yeah, hey, I'll deal with a little bit of water. As I said before, you know, there's a philosophy that goes along with uh, no two faces are alike and no uh, mask is going to fit anyone. And, th and that philosophy is this. No mask is going to be right for anyone. And if there was, one of these companies would come out with the perfect mask with no flaws. And hey, if you can bat 90% on a CPAP mask, and and it doesn't get any better than that, uh, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> that makes sense, you know. Uh, 90%. I mean, that's that's what you're going to find. I mean, I haven't found the perfect one yet. You know, I'll be frank with you though. I mean, I said you know I qualified it with uh, with masks that I own. Um, the Easy Life comes close. Uh, I've gotten a little bit of water in it uh, from rain out in the mask itself, not in the tubing, during the night. And, you know, uh, fortunately, hey, that stays in there. I can at least get in there with a little paper towel and dab it out in the morning or wash it out. So the last feature about this, that the Easy Life, and I'm comparing the Easy Life and this one because they're in the same ballpark when it comes to this active fit. If you like this mask, you will like that Easy Life um, from ResMed. Now, the other feature on this that the Easy Life doesn't have, and you know, it, this reminds me so much of of the ports on the Quattro as well, is here's your oxygen bleed-in ports. So if you like this technology, if you saw that video and you went, "Wow, you know, that's exactly what I'm looking for," uh, but you're on supplemental oxygen, uh, this right here would be a feature that you'd want, and. You know, it's going to be essential for you. Now, I looked up the old Activa, and it still had a bleed-in port. I couldn't see it when I actually looked at the mask, uh, but hey, they said it was there. I actually believe them. So the things that I like about this mask, um, the real features that make it. I mean, I can't say enough about the uh, active cell technology. Um, you know, there is a little bit of, like it's talked about, the water condensation. That's one downside. The other downside is, is hey, you do end up with a mass that's, that's pretty thick. When you put all of this together, and let me just clip it back in here. When you put all of this together, you've got, especially when the cell's expanded and you have